The moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the desolate town of Hollowbrook. The streets were empty, save for fallen leaves and the faint echoes of distant howls. In the heart of this eerie night, the Johnson family gathered by the flickering light of their campfire. Their faces, etched with a mix of fear and determination, told a tale of the horrors they had witnessed. As the fire crackled, John Johnson, the family patriarch, spoke with a grave tone. We can't stay here forever. We need to find safety, but the undead horde is everywhere. We must be cautious and stick together. His wife, Sarah, held their two children, Timmy and Emma, close. Daddy's right, she whispered, her voice trembling. We'll get through this together just like we always do. With a nod of agreement, the family packed up their meagre belongings and ventured into the darkness. They knew that the night held mysteries and dangers beyond their wildest nightmares. The night air was filled with an unsettling silence, broken only by the distant moans of the undead. In their journey ahead, the Johnsons could feel the weight of the unknown and the chilling presence of something unnatural lurking in the shadows. As the Johnsons ventured deeper into Hollowbrook, the once familiar streets became a maze of uncertainty. Every corner they turned seemed to hide new horrors. Timmy clutched his toy sword tightly, Emma held her teddy bear close, and Sarah carried the family's flashlight, casting a trembling beam into the darkness. Their path led them to an old, abandoned carnival, its rides standing still like eerie sentinels of a forgotten time. But as they drew closer, they saw movement, a group of zombies stumbling in the distance. Panic welled up within them, but they knew they had to be silent. John whispered urgently, stay close and stay quiet. They crept through the carnival, each step fraught with tension. The night was far from over and the challenges they faced were just beginning. The moon cast long shadows across the carnival grounds, making the zombies appear even more menacing. With bated breath, the Johnsons moved past the decaying carnival games, their eyes darting from one rusted ride to another. Just as they thought they had safely navigated through the undead-infested carnival, a sinister laugh echoed through the night, sending shivers down their spines. They realised that their journey was far from over, and the true horrors of Halloween night were yet to reveal themselves. With the carnival behind them, the Johnsons pressed on, their determination unwavering. The night had grown colder, and the air was thick with tension. They knew they had to find a safe place to rest before dawn, but that seemed like an elusive dream. As they walked through a dense forest, they suddenly stumbled upon an old, decrepit mansion hidden among the trees. Its windows were shattered, and vines had claimed it as their own. To their surprise, the front door creaked open with an eerie invitation. John cautiously led his family into the mansion, their footsteps echoing in the dimly lit foyer. The air was heavy with a musty scent of neglect. They knew they had found shelter, but they also felt like unwelcome guests. Hours passed as they explored the mansion's dark corridors, finding dusty old books, forgotten paintings, and secrets that had been buried for decades. But the sense of unease grew with every step, as if the house itself held ancient and restless spirits. Just as they began to settle in for the night, a distant sound sent shivers down their spines. It was the chilling moan of the undead. They realised that the mansion's eerie silence was a façade, and their battle for survival was far from over. The mansion's walls seemed to close in on the Johnsons as the undead closed in on their sanctuary. With makeshift weapons in hand, they prepared for the inevitable confrontation. The battle that ensued was fierce and relentless. John, Sarah, Timmy and Emma fought side by side, their determination unwavering. But with each zombie they defeated, more seemed to take their place. In the midst of the chaos, a glimmer of hope emerged. A hidden passage in the mansion led them to a secret room filled with ancient artefacts. Among them was a mysterious amulet that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly power. John grasped the amulet 
and a surge of energy coursed through him. With newfound strength, he led his family in a final, desperate push to repel the undead horde. As the last of the zombies fell, the mansion's silence returned, but now it held a sense of triumph. The Johnsons had survived the night, but they knew their journey was far from over. The amulet's secrets and their purpose in this eerie world remained a mystery. The morning sun began to cast its warm rays upon the mansion, signalling the end of a long and terrifying night. The Johnsons had survived, but the mysteries of Halloween night still lingered. With the amulet in their possession, the family felt a newfound determination to uncover the truth behind the zombie apocalypse. They knew they had a long and perilous journey ahead. As they ventured back into Hollowbrook, they discovered that the world had changed. The undead were not the only threat. Other survivors had become desperate and dangerous. The Johnsons had to navigate this new and treacherous reality. Along the way, they encountered acts of kindness and bravery that restored their faith in humanity. They also encountered dark secrets and betrayals that reminded them of the fragility of trust. With the amulet as their only guide, the Johnsons embarked on a journey of survival, discovery and hope. They knew that as a family, they were bound by love and resilience and together, they would face whatever horrors the world threw their way.